Morning. I was not born to do the catwalk, okay? So I will stay here. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure being here. And I would like to share you, with you some ideas. So we're talking about transformation. 300 years ago, this city, Edinburgh, this nation, Scotland, were nurturing the seeds for a radical transformation. Not only for Scotland, but also for the Western world. What is known as the Scottish uh, Enlightenment, Scottish Enlightenment was the compilation of many, many changes that were beyond Scotland. It changed and transformed the entirety of Britain, the continental Europe, the Western world, and it was a major influence on the fathers, founding fathers of the United States and the Republican principles. Just let me name you some of the main uh, protagonists of that moment. Adam Smith, David Hume, Walter Scott, Robert Adam, Thomas Wright, James Watt, and today, that we are starting of and beginning the fourth revolution, a revolution that changed the way we create, a change, this is with value. I think it's appropriate to mention the two of the main Scots, uh, universal Scots, that transformed the world. Let me mention Adam Smith, the father of the notion of capitalism, and James Watt, the successful promoter and optimizer of the steam machine, the power the power that really transformed and drove the first industrial revolution. Let's jump onto the current moment. Let's jump to our profession, our industry today. For the last 100 years, our industry, our profession, has run a ma massive transformation. But in the last decade, it, the acceleration and speed of this transformation has completely changed the outlook of our industry. Digitization of societies, of our lives, have enlarged our capability to understand and to know what people do, think, consume, use, share, like. And it brings us a large capability of collecting data, treating it, and getting into conclusions and analysis of value for the end user. However, this potential has also attracted uh, new capital, new players, new ad players into our industry that also has transformed the way we think and the way we, we process and vision our industry, more financially led. But this has not only been the only shift, we have also have a shift in mind. And today, technology makes us believe that all data is available, easily available, treated, collected, and we can get into the conclusions very easily. And reality yet says it's not. The market opinion and social research and data analytics industry is valued at 80 billion. The portion of uh, data analytics is increasing year by year. And today it stands on this 49% of the total spend of this market. This is a shift in our market. This is a shift in our profession. Today, more techniques, new techniques, new professionals, new skills, new backgrounds are also having uh, their voice to interpret the consumer. It's not more, it's no longer the, the gatekeeper of information is no longer the traditional market research. New voices have come into this field. And we must integrate that. We must be aware of that. We must enlarge our community and integrate all those protagonists of the customer understanding. We must build the bridges into practices. We must integrate the whole community capable of understanding consumer. When there is a fast transformation, we need to adapt fastly. And when we have to adapt fastly, it can certainly provoke a big impact on our identity. So some years ago, I had the chance of talking with one of the most prominent French current philosophers, André Comte Sponville, and I asked him, how can societies, how can institutions, organizations, how can I adapt to change without changing my identity? Because it really concerns me. I have an identity, I want to keep it somehow. And he told me, you have to define, you have to identify which are the key pillars, your core values, your core beliefs, principles of, that make you who you are, keep them, reinforce them, and get rid of the rest and embrace change. Get rid of the rest and embrace change. If I think of the change we are experiencing currently, and I have to think of what are the two main principles that as profession we must keep 
I believe that the two main things are the willingness to understand people, the honest willingness to understand people, human centricity, and ethics. Human centricity and ethics. And let me focus on ethics and ethical behavior. Our industry has an outstanding record for having a very uh, prestigious uh, standard for keeping the bar high. The bar high in treating personal data, in treating data, and having good practices. It is crucial at this very moment of history to keep it up. It is crucial that we defend this prestigious, this prestige. It's up to us, and it's up to us in every stage of the value chain, all stages. And this is a call for all of you, and this is a particular call for the end user, the end client, which is the most, the most relevant player in the sense that it can really drive uh, things on one side, one side on the other side. Today we believe that technology is everything. The culture of business makes us believe that either we invest on automation, artificial intelligence, or we are out of market. Certainly, it might have happened at this, at this team machine moment. And certainly it was true. However, I want to reinforce this message. Technology is not neutral. Technology is not neutral. Technology is the reflection of the values, beliefs, interests, and biases of its creator. We as a profession have something to say here. We have strong beliefs and strong principles that we must keep up. We have a run record of self-regulation. We have been successful in self-regulating, in defending and advocating our profession in front of the legislator and all stakeholders. This is our current challenge and focus of our activity. Because at this very same moment, we cannot play with certain things. For instance, I would like also to mirror with the ad tech industry. They have put and incurred in big risks. And this is the last report of the information, UK's Information Commission. So it says that they have strong concerns that the creation and sharing of personal data profiles about people to the scale we've seen feels disproportionate, intrusive, and unfair, particularly when people are often unaware it is happening. We have to be vigilant. Our industry, our profession is at stake if we are not following the good principles that define us. SMR has always worked for the good of the profession to, to um, develop and reinforce the profession around the globe. As SMR, we are going to continue this work. We want to establish bridges and build bridges to all associations, all institutions, all stakeholders that want to elevate the voice and join us in this defense of the, of the profession. We must do that. Our industry, our profession is, uh, has limited resources, so we have to be strong and join all our efforts to go in the same direction and be relevant for the whole market and for the whole industry. As well as Omar, we want to continue to inspire people, to inspire professionals, to inspire you, inspire the community. Today, at this juncture of uh, many things and transformations going on, I believe that a new professional skill, a new professional profile is, has a lot to say. What they call the professional of translator. Translators, these professionals that bring 100 years of heritage of practices, of good practices, and have the capability to have the context, establish the context, having the whole vision to use and uh, merge all the best methodologies to answer valuable questions. We are here to answer valuable questions, business questions, to bring value to business. And believe me, in a market of $1.3 trillion, which is the market of the global marketing and advertising industry, there are many questions to be answered, many questions to be properly answered. We have a huge opportunity to help all these industries to get their answers in their businesses. So, in the first industrial revolution, we had a concept mind frame, the notion of capitalism, of Adam Smith, and we, have a we had a technology, which was a steam machine. Concept, technology. Adam Smith, capitalism, steam, power. In the fourth revolution, technology, the, the power is data. The, the, the power of the technology is data, and I believe 
that the concept frame has to be human centricity. We are the ones that know how to command the data. We know data. We know how to interpret data. We have the power. We have always been human centric. Human centricity is at our DNA. So I invite you to be the Adam Smith and John and, and James Watt of this current revolution. And we can, as they did, set the rules of this revolution. And I also invite you in the next three days to build the bridge to data, to data enlightenment, as the Scotch of Edinburgh did 300 years ago in the streets, taverns, clubs of this city. Enjoy Congress. Have fun. Thank you.